Good morning, everybody. Bonjour à tous. Buenos días a todos. Um, we are here to talk about Android video streaming. Uh, you know, it's not a good commercial name, but well, let's try to think about it. Um, we are talking about Android, you know, the operating, the operating system in mobile phone developed by Google in the community, video streaming. Uh, we thought that maybe uh, everyone with mobile in his pocket uh, could be a journalist. You know, in each corner of every street, they could send a video to anyone who wants to, to see it. And that's a good idea. Maybe that's the future with GAT. But well, we are talking about uh, Android devices as video prosumers. That's what I said. Uh, we, want the peop we want people to send what they say, what, the, what they see, what, the, what they look uh, to, to all around the world and all these kind of things. Uh, in this slide, I thought I could, use, uh, I could put an index, but that's a good uh, example of not an index. Uh, I'm going to move from past to the future of this project. I'm talking about the present. Um, all this started with a very short uh, development team. It's just a software developer and me, uh, and I'm a telecommunication engineer. And we thought about this, this requirement that people maybe could send what they, what they see to, to internet and maybe they could send to their friends and uh, who knows to, to whom. Uh, I'm working in HI Iberia. It's an enterprise from Spain. And we have developed this, uh, this product because uh, we've got a client who paid for it. <laughs> so um, we have uh, enough time to develop it, and that's why we, we move into, into this, uh, this process. We are a, a company who is working with ICT companies, banking, public administration, public bodies, and uh, R&D, research and development. We are in seventh framework program, national programs, regional programs, and all these kind of things. Um, th that's about an enterprise since uh, 20 years ago. We have uh, doing things about technology consultancy, consultancy, maintenance, software quality, development, and nowadays we are working hard in open source products and uh, research and development, as I said. Uh, which is the project origin? Um, we were working in a public project of Madrid City Council in the area, in the arts area, and they were, they were thinking about uh, using the visitors, not just showing to the visitors what they have made, what they have thought. So, you know, they need the feedback from the visitors. So there is a um, cultural institution, Matadero de Madrid. I don't know if you know Madrid. Well, if you go, let's see it. They need interaction with the visitors. Uh, so they thought they need three columns, three pillars. They need a uh, wireless infrastructure because they, the people who go uh, there need a uh, wireless infrastructure to connect with the world. Uh, they need video streaming because uh, they think that maybe all the, all the things that visitors uh, see or, or think could be interesting for anyone in the world. And uh, we have developed a semantic search product just for the archive they have. You know, they, they have events, they have presentations, and they have all these kind of video things. So uh, they want the people to find the things uh, quite easy. It was a duration of eight months, and it was completely open source. So we've got about the video streaming thing, uh, a simple idea. It's, uh, it's about, imagine, we, we are seeing the new car we want to buy, we want to send it to, to, our, to a friend. And so we've got our mobile, that's the one I have, it's Samsung Galaxy S. I don't have stock options in this company, but it's a good mobile phone. Uh, you could buy it. Uh, um, well, then so you, you capture, you record the video, and you take it in, front, uh, in, in your mobile phone, but you send it to a transcoding server. And we use, uh, the well-known transcoding application with GAD, you know, FFmpeg, and uh, we use uh, codec and, and containers free container, you know, ah, Theora, Borbis. 
or we got all, all, all the things we've got about Steve.org. So we transcode the, the stream and we send it to a streaming server. We use Icecast and we use Arc Forward to send it, to upload the content to the, to the streaming server. And if we've got it over there, we can consume it in, in a laptop with using Firefox, HTML5, we DLC or M player, everything we want. That's the simple idea of the echo chapter. What then, which technologies we are using? Well, we have tested in and Android devices, 1.6, 2.1, 2.2. We use TCP as a transport protocol uh, because we, do, we are doing buffering, you know, and we have no problem about the uh, feedback, the resend protocol and all this kind of things that TCP have. But it's quite easy for us to send from the mobile to the, to the transcoding server using TCP. We were thinking about uh, RTP, the typical one, but we prefer to use it. Uh, we have to convert. Uh, we record the, the signal with uh, the video and the audio in, a di in different streams. I tell you later why. But well, we've got the container MP4 and the audio with uh, pulse code modulation, PCM, in different streams. And we convert it in with the, with this uh, codex and containers, ah, and CR for the video and Borbis for the for the audio. We use the transcoding application with GAT, FMP, and Icecast as a streaming server, and ah, forward to send it to upload the content to the to the to the server to the streaming server. We use Java, programming language. We love uh, out of memory errors, <laughs> so that's why we use it. <laughs> And um, only because um, we've got a previous product, and we reuse it. And we use self -script scripting to, to control the process of uh, the pipes we use to connect uh, FMPEG with ACK forward, with ICAST. We use self scripting. And the end user side, we could use whatever we want uh, VLC and player or HTML5 in a, inside the Firefox or the browser. Technical details, um, as I said, uh, we've got two different recording threads because if we, uh, if we record them uh, all together, we have problems to send it to the transcoder server because we don't have the, uh, all the headers that the container format have. And if we send it, we don't have timestamps, we don't have uh, um, all the things we know. We need to, to know which kind of bytes are video, which kind of bytes are audio. So we record them separately, and we send it separately in two different threads, and just in server, we mix them. Uh, we use a control port. Uh, we send XML data to include the major data information, like, like the author, the, the title, or whatever the user wants to include. And we send, we respond with the listen ports. We send, as I said, we send the video and the audio in different ports. We use TCP to send the, the information. We use well-known transcoding technologies, so there's no problem about that. We don't, it's quite uh, well good tested, and there's no problem about that. And the problem here is the, the audio delay. Um, we are, it's controlled because uh, we are using our own timestamps. Uh, we define which kind of delay we've got in the record th thread, and that's why we put in the in the in the transcoding server to mix the audio and the video. And we are using pipes to connect the the application we we are using FFmpeg uh, or Firebird and all this kind. We have developed an, a version of Cat uh, called MyCat because uh, we really needed to to construct to construct a, a, a stream. Of a bit rate, a constant bit rate of bytes, and if we re if we use cat, we are maybe having problems about broken pipe and all these kind of things. And we already developed a, a little application called Chop Pages. We are trying to put in inside FMMPR. We are talking with them, with the developers, and, and that's the only the only thing this application is doing is to to making pages uh, of our container uh, just. Uh, I don't know, a few little, a few short, because uh, if they are quite big, uh, we have problems with the ISCAS server. Uh, 
Here we have uh, some screenshots of the application. You know, they are in Spanish because uh, it's for a uh, Spanish institution. But well, it's quite simple. You know, if you have already worked with uh, Android, it's quite easy to define with an XML, all these kind of things. Um, we, have, we have here to define the uh, configuration of the server, the metadata, uh, the vision of the camera. You know, it's quite simple. Uh, I thought we could, uh, I could do it for you a live demo, but uh, uh, I, th I didn't know if I could have uh, Wi-Fi or, and I, and I don't have a 3G connection or a roaming connection, so uh, I beg you for trust me. <laughs> I don't know if you trust in God like the American do, but well, please, in Fernando with trust. Uh, if you go to Madrid, maybe you could uh, go to Matadero. I don't know if you have ever been there. And you can see it working over there. They are trying then when they have an event or maybe the, the visitors could. They have, a, they have all, the, all the chain. You know, they have the streaming server and the transcoding server put in, a, in their machines. And uh, you could send it. They define they have posters. You could send your, your video to this direction and you could use it. Use cases, um, which applications more than the institution, the cultural institutions. We are thinking that um, maybe everyone could be a, a journalist. Uh, in each corner of every street, we could be recording what we are seeing, and maybe there is someone in the other part, or the other part of, of the world, that maybe could uh, be interested in that. And uh, maybe, for example, in in Madrid nowadays, why not? Uh, the the Egyptian people could send what they have what they are seeing to to the rest of the world, you know. So everyone could be a good journalist. Another another use cases could be, uh, for example, the if we want to see our our children at the at the school and we are and they are playing football. So maybe we want to to send this uh, this, fo this football match to to uh, to our family or anyone. So maybe it could be a, another good uh, application. I don't have uh, a photo about uh, children playing football, so I use this one. I don't know. That was the best moment of my life last year. <laughs> so another good application could be... Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. Uh, adult content. <laughs> That's that's not a joke. Um, I was talking to to an adult content provider, and he thought that if anyone in in their house could send what they want to to record to another people, that's a very good interesting thing. Just I I suppose you know uh, Russian roulette. I think that it's called uh, what the what cam that it's changing in a, in a random circle. You know. Maybe that could be a, a good example of what we can do with Android video streaming. And the future, well, we don't know who knows the future, but it's, uh, that's an open source license, so maybe you could, so you could uh, do things about this development, uh, you can give up support, or maybe we are, we are trying to decide to which forge we, we move the, the code, but uh, of course, it's completely open source because it's on the it's on the contract, and we are we know about the the open source is the is the best way to develop. And if you want to contribute, or maybe if you want to to have you have good ideas about this product or about the future of video streaming, maybe you could contact me, or or you could en you could enter to the to our web to our website. And good opinion, and could uh, see what we have done. Okay, so that's all. And if you have questions, so maybe it's just two minutes. Okay. Why do you need transcoding? Why you need transcoding? Um, because uh, we've got. Um, if you you see the API of Android, we don't we don't need to we don't ha we don't have the possibility to. To write with using uh, free codecs, you know, we, we cannot uh, we, got, we cannot record with R, Barbies, and Theora. We wanted to use them because we we wanted to use 
a free a free streaming server, Icecus, and we wanted to use, so we had to use R, Barbies, and Theora. We thought about uh, we have to, we thought about uh, putting inside the Android the, the libraries of R, but it was it was quite easier to use to send the to send the codec or so to send the stream as the mobile record, you know. No more question. Okay, thank you so much. Okay.